The sound of long ago, stashed in basements and storage areas. Those 78 records, popular from the late 1800s to the 1950s, silenced by time and technology. Now, George Blood Audio in Philadelphia is giving them a voice. The company is digitizing tens of thousands of records as part of the Great 78 Project, sponsored by the nonprofit Internet Archive. These recordings are a key part of who we were as a people from all around the world. Donated records have been shipped from all over in protective packaging. They're made of shellac that's brittle and showing age. We routinely find chipped and broken discs that we skip over. And, you know, time is not going to make that any better. The discs are cleaned on a special machine. Distilled water helps wash away years of dust and dirt. Each label is photographed for the archive. A three-minute side then spins on a turntable rigged with four different sized needles, recording the sound. Hisses and crackles included. One of my favorite things about this project is listening to all the old music. You look fine. Do I look good? Ah, oh, you look great. Comedy records were also popular to Liz Rosenberg's amusement. They really liked puns back then. They kept doing a lot of pun jokes. I found some family 78s in a storage room at home. They smell a little musty, but I'm anxious to hear how they sound. Out of the maiden. Those actually sounded great. Out of the now the world will have online access to Paul Robeson's voice and many others from the past. Susan Shapiro, News 8.